So away we go. This swirling breeze. Potentially into the face of Ireland. As things stand at the moment. And it's another big carry from the number eight, Brittany Hogan. This is better from Ireland. Christy Haney now. Neve Jones dropping that shoulder and trying to gain some yards. Haney again. I just got a knock off from that previous one, so I'm still playing in practice. O'Brien. And now a chance maybe for Wafer. She's got Parsons with her. Wafer might do it. Oh, no, she has. Oh, there was no stopping Eva Wafer from that close. Almost skipping over the tackle of Kira Bevan. Oh, and into the gap goes Riley. Has she got the gas to get there? Needs support. And that support has arrived in timely fashion. Sam Monaghan. You're off things. Ireland have numbers out wide if they can put it through the hands, but they might not need to. Eve Higgins powering over that line. We've seen Evans going in trying to rob it, but actually uh, the clear out was so good. The Wales not going to the air at all. They're trying to repel this get ball. Get up, get up, get up. Ball under the left arm of Neve Jones. Jones is edging closer. Just need to get going forward again. They certainly are now. Neve Jones is almost there. She's down and she has the try. Ireland are demolishing Wales in this first half an hour. Neve Jones with her ninth try for Ireland, her fourth in the Six Nations Championship. There was a delayed reaction from the referee. Sorry, I didn't for which hear he apologises. Jenny Heskett did call for the mark. mark. But she hasn't found touch, that's a terrible kick. Fielded by Riley, now O'Brien. Comes back against the grain. And there's more space out the other side. Back for George. Oh, blocked down brilliantly. Great work from Corrigan, and she might finish it off herself. Katie Corrigan for Ireland. The teenager with her first international try. All her own work. Here come Ireland again. Another carry for Adele McMahon. Sam Monaghan now. Ireland are going to make a change in their second row. Ireland playing with a penalty advantage now as well as Parsons attacks the line. And Wells managed to steal it, so back they'll come for the penalty. One there, because she's crawling into the path of the nine. Well, there's an offside here. Today, Dan O'Brien, not only for the kicking tee, but with her line kicking as well. She's five from five now. And Ireland stretch further clear. It's an awfully long way back for Wales now. Although, still a quarter of this game to go. Plenty of time for Wales to get that scoreboard ticking in their favour. Here's Dan O'Brien. Wall. Oh, good work. Quick thinking from her. Finds Eva Wafer and another tackler beaten. And off goes David Parsons. Parsons going for the corner! Oh, that's brilliant rugby for Ireland. David Parsons with her first try in this year's championship. And when she has a little bit of space, she puts the gas and the burners on and off she goes. Knock on advantage is over. Little ball flip back inside brilliantly by Kaylee Powell. And an opportunity for Wales finally to score. Karis Cox just about put down. Stepping back inside is Gwen Hopkins. It's just the touch of the ball, whether the belly of the ball here goes. You can see Dan O'Brien's knee is there. Does it touch? You can't see it on that camera angle. You can't see it then. So Gwen Hopkins on her debut. Donna Rose getting ready to take this on herself. Just pops it inside. And it's Ireland have stripped it. If they can just get through a phase or two, that should be the end of it. Wait, wait. Out it goes from Scuffle McCabe, and there's the full-time whistle. Ireland back to winning ways, and they get a Six Nations Championship.
a first win under the new head coach, Scott Beeman. And for Wales, continued disappointment. Their championship goes from bad to worse.